Here at the Independent Square Beach, I saw trains. He and his pilot jog, run and go through exercise routines to get the muscles ready for the road. Take this way, this point. Squat down. Down. Squat down. Squat down. Go down. Make action that you are going. So you breathe in, then you power. It's a sprint. So we go. Five, four, three, two. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Move it. Move it. Frederick Asso is hoping his skills can shove him into the race for a medal. For him, the sport saved him from joblessness after joining the National Paralympics team in 2011. Sport has always been part of his life before he lost his sight some 25 years ago. A graduate from the University of Ghana, Asso says he goes through every day knowing he is stronger than people think he is. As a sportsman, although I've completed university, I have my Bachelor of Arts in History and the Study of Religions, but because I love sports, I have put in all those things aside and then the spirit of sports is in there. That is why I always try to recommend people, I always try to appreciate the effort of some individuals that have come my way. After the beach, they sit on the tandem bike to hit the road. Sitting behind his pilot makes it easy for him to know the directions. However, there is more to it. Up, press down, go. When you watch me and Frederick, we are on one bicycle. He didn't have steering. I was the one who was controlled the brake, the gear, whatever. So at times, I used my hand. I told him, when I hold your hand, one, and I, I didn't press it, means that cool down. The place that we are going is not fine. Mm. But if he hold his hand at the back and press it two times, one, two, then you have to move the bike. When we are going to turn, I talk to him. We are going to take left. It's turn. So he will stop riding, then we turn. When we are getting to the left side, I told him, even when we are getting to traffic, that's a difficult place because he didn't see. And at times you see him riding. So far as I was stopping riding, he was riding. So if I don't talk to him, stop riding, we are getting to this place, he will ride. So this is some of the experience that we have. So when I give him the sign, he know what I said. So when you were starting, you said up. Mm -hmm. then what do you actually say? When I hold his hand, I press it slowly. You know that it's going to be slow, the bicycle. But when I press the, the arm two times, I hold it, then I hold it hard. They have to force the bicycle to move fast. I saw placed seventh in the world at Rio 2016 and placed fifth and first in the World and Africa Games respectively. I saw the star of the country on his tandem bike would be competing in track events and rode at the Paralympic Games together with his able pilot, Rudolf Mensa. Yes, we use the tandem bike as I'll be doing the road and then the velodrome. The velodrome is, is, is such a type that uh, it's like it's in the shape of an egg. That is how uh, it has been described to me. You climb, you go, you climb, you go, you climb. It's about 250 meters round up and down. And that bike doesn't have brake. Mm -hmm. There's no brake on it. And you can go as fast as nine seconds to go around 250 meters. Nine yes. Seconds. Nine seconds. Asso has proven to be a versatile, visually impaired cyclist in all avenues and is promising fireworks in Tokyo. Ghana's pre-competition training camp is being held in Inawashiro, Fukushima. Look, we are doing every effort to bring medal. I'm going to break that chain from Olympics not getting, or Paralympics not getting medal. This year, we are doing every effort to get a medal for the country. If they are ready to support us. Because without the right equipment, without our right training and so on and so forth, forget it.